Hi guys and welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Drayton Park Golf Club. What I'm going to be discussing in today's video is how the body rotation through the ball affects the exit position of the golf club. We're going to really delve into what that means in your game, how you can control it better. I'm going to give you a couple of really simple exercises that you could take to the driving range or the practice area to help you next time you get on the golf course. Stay tuned to find out more. As mentioned there, what we're going to be discussing today is how body rotation through the ball affects the exit position of the golf club and what you can learn from that. So what I see far too often on the downswing and into impact is the body stalling. And I'm talking really here about the whole body. I'm talking about the legs, and the core, the chest reducing in rotation through the ball and the hands and arms taking over and often I see a big fault with amateur golfers where they're trying to keep their head down too long. We're not going to del or discuss that too much, I have done in other videos, but I really see golfers trying to keep their head down far too long and under rotation here of the body and what we end up seeing from a downline camera is this club exiting very high. So what we end up seeing is the club exit above my lead shoulder nearer my neckline. What I really like to see on the way through is the club exit a little bit lower below my shoulder. So we want it to be close to this plane line you're going to see on the screen. So we want to pretty much be swinging up and down on a similar line and through on a similar line on the way through. What a lot of tour players actually do is up on one line down, slightly shallower. It does depend on what shot shape they're trying to hit. But what we see with the majority is this exit point uh, much more around their body to the left than the amateur, average amateur golfer. And I really think it's down to the amount of rotation. I just got back um, from an open practice day, actually, up at Royal Birkdale. And looking at, especially a player like Alex Noren, who was really focusing and working on rotation of his body, really trying to get this twisting of his body to open up towards the target. When we do that, we'll feel that pressure into that lead heel, as I've discussed before, and this rotation on the way through. I get a lot of golfers tell me you can't generate power from there, and I think that's absolute rubbish. I'm not suggesting there isn't any hands and arms, but the more we can use our body, the more consistent that release pattern's going to be and it's very effective for power and accuracy. Whereas a handsy release can generate some power, it's very hard to generate accuracy without great timing, a lot of practice. So I have got a training aid um, that I, I'm just gonna jump in, I guess it's a bit of a plug for them, the Golf In Sync training aid that I really like, but I'll show you how to do it with a tour stick as well that will work on this. So that's why I'm wearing this armband, it wasn't a fashion statement. So that goes through there, just under my left arm. Works well this for chipping, but you actually tie uh, this to the shaft, so there's no wrist action at all. With this one, we can actually go ahead and hit proper shots, but I have to rotate my body to exit more to the left. Okay, so you really start to see my hips and chest having to open up. I just can't do hands and arms, it's really got to be rotation connecting this move. So I'm just gonna go ahead at a nice slow pace. I've just got this on a mid iron, this is an eight. So I'm just gonna try ahead and get that real feeling of having to rotate. You'll see a very sawn off finished position. I can't quite complete my follow through with this training aid. Let's give it a whirl. So what you'll see, is lots of body rotation towards the target, that club much lower than my lead shoulder, which is what I'm really looking for. So how you can do that with a, you can strap a tour stick just to the side of the club or with a smaller stick here, just in the end of the grip. And I'm a similar thing, just trying to get this tour stick on my left side rather than there where it's really poking back into me. So I've got to really feel like I rotate. As I said, what I'm trying to get out of is these high 
release finishes where the body is under rotated. I really want to see the body rotating more to start to control your ball flight. Let's give this one a go just with a tour stick in the end of the club instead. Same feeling, same move. Yes, the tour stick is hitting me, but it's hitting me after impact as I rotate through. It's not poking back into me there. So give those exercises a go. It's really going to give you that feeling of starting to rotate your chest, your hips better, and get this lower left exit. I hope you enjoyed the content of that video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for free. There's new videos, new content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5.30. And also check us out on all our social media platforms. All the info's been coming along the bottom of the screen for you. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.